hard. The sweet little thing. I think he was just like, why am I here? Yeah. Yeah. I, I was lucky because um, I think every kid that I acted with really wanted to be there. And I think that makes a huge difference. I mean, there were some babies that had a harder time. Um, Travis, for instance. You know. <laughs> 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 We'd rather be somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. He's um, in the background. Ah, oh, fucking, why am I here? Ah. <laughs> well, you know, that was that was a challenge with the kids around. It was Travis's foul mouth if he got a line wrong. Yeah, there are a lot of kids that I just had to quickly cover their ears. Um, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you have a favorite scene? If you go back over that roller decks of memories, is there a favorite scene that you remember that you could give us a, a fun story about? Uh, God, I mean, it's it's so difficult because they there are standouts for a few different reasons. Um, I think I think my favorite my favorite scene to film would have been ourselves death scene. Um, because I felt like I'd really hit my stride with the character and with the actress, uh, as an actress as well. Um, I felt very confident on set by the time we got to that. And um, I thought I thought Elsa got some justice and I really liked that she left the way she came in as um, like using wit and intelligence um because i i believe our slug negotiated her death in that scene and um if she could get lagatha to kill her then she might go to valhalla and if she could die in battle technically then she would go on and have a name for herself and i um I loved all of the subtext of that scene. It just spoke to me in a way, and it was really fun to film, um, to provoke someone in a way and to taunt and tease, but do it all kind of under the surface. And um, like that, that kind of acting is what really speaks to me when you're saying something and you really have a very pointed motivation and the stakes were so high. Um, I thought that was really fun. But then she also kind of got to say her piece and say, like, I'm a part of this history as well. Um, yeah. I liked that. And, and like, I don't think um, that it was an accident. Some of those lines felt personal. And I think Michael does that at times. Like, I think mm. he can kind of find nuggets of truth in you as a human and, and write for that. And... Um, you know, he said, God, now I'm probably going to get the lines wrong, but there was a moment when Elsa looks at the steer and kind of says, like, my work here is done, essentially. And, like, as an actress, I was like, oh. And I, had a moment and, like, I looked at the steer and I kind of started crying and I was like, oh, God, like, it's my, my time is done. And it was, it was just an emotional day as well um, to say goodbye. Oh, I'm getting emotional yeah. It was a very yeah. public scene as well. It's out in the mm-hmm. open. It's in front of everybody as well, which is what we all oh, wanted—a yeah. big standoff yeah. between these two major characters. And it's you know, there's nothing to hide. It's all out in the open. The yeah, moment where you're sorry, I was going to say, you know, I and fans may not know this, but when you're getting killed off a show, it can be really strange the way the schedule goes. You might film your death scene and then have all of these other scenes that you have to film after you've filmed your death scene. But it aligned with our slot that that was my final scene to film. And then the way we did the scene, this is the other thing. You don't know like what order the scene is going to be filmed in. So the final shot that we did that day was me falling into the mud. Like yeah. it was just you know everything chronological lined up so wow. it was, yeah and it, like it was kind of a beautiful way to end it and I didn't have to leave like on some weird piece of connective tissue that you have to like <laughs> go back and it's like 
quick, we just need you walking from yeah. like yeah. the bedroom out into <laughs> yeah. the great hall real quick so that this all, you know, like I didn't have to do anything like that. So yeah, it was, so it was a the worst. Thing. The worst thing about moments like that is because um, just so people listening, when, when you're a character on a show and you're leaving, there's usually a lovely sort of send off by cast and crew and they clap you out and they say, oh, you know, this is the final day. It's a wrap on Alyssa and everybody cheers. And it's such Ooh. a lovely goodbye. But it, yeah. I, I think I had the exact opposite where I had already died. And then my last thing was like a background walk and everybody was so busy. So it was just like, okay, walk across. And then like onto the next team. So it was like, it's Amy's last day. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, anyone coming out for drinks tonight? No, no, we're all up at four in the morning filming. Yeah, Wednesday. yeah no, we're too busy. On to the next scene. <laughs> oh, wow. No, it's different because everyone was there. And there are, you know, whatever cast members were in that day came out as well for the end. Um, so I had like hundreds of people cheering for me because all of the extras were in. Um, That's amazing. Yeah. And it was, yeah. It was deafening and I'm I don't love being the center of attention with that many people around and so it was like kind of embarrassing but at the same time like oh just you know and that was what's having, special having- with Vikings as well was the extras the extras were like our family too we, mm-hmm. we, we didn't just we weren't one of these shows where we just grab in random people from an extras agency and you'd never see them again the guys that were cast as extras and vikings were there day in day out so those big for crowds years. Scenes, you would look around and you'd see faces you'd seen over three mm-hmm. or four years five mm-hmm. years six years however long you were in the show so you know when you get a send-off like that it's quite special it's like everybody kind of knows who you are you kind of it's not just oh there's just four or five people i know on set that are genuinely saying goodbye to me you feel like everybody gets to say goodbye yeah it was really beautiful so that would that I think that's my favorite scene like it's it stands out and I remember it yeah I just remember seeing that moment when I was watching it and and you turn to the camera and then I think you get shot in the back and then there's a smile on your face just the ghost of a smile like ah you know it was it was yeah really subtle really beautiful and the funeral pyre as well so Alyssa we're asking everybody what is the most Viking thing they've ever done in their life? If you were standing at the gates of Valhalla and Odin was turning around to a listen, not Aslaug, and was saying, come on, you got to give me a good story here. You know, Valhalla's nearly full. You know, you've got to, how are you going to get in to these gates and sup with the, you know, with the, the gods? What would your story be to Odin? <laughs> oh, boy. Um, God, I'm just... I'm such a rule follower in real life. Like <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not sure I have a whole lot of Viking spirit in me. The the only thing that's coming to my mind, and I can't believe I'm going to say this because it's so random and silly, um, is that I I really like camping. I like being out in nature, and like I've been to campsites, and I prefer going to the bathroom in nature than like using <laughs> so that's that's probably the most viking thing i've done i definitely like peed outside on set a number of times and had to like have women hold costumes up for me oh to be God. able to do that but like you guys know what it's like on set like the porta potties might be a ways away and you're kind of like oh geez it's like really far and i'm in the midst of doing a scene and if i if I have to take myself over to the porta potty right now, I could set it back like probably 10 to 15 minutes with how long it's going to take to get over there. So it's quicker for me to like run behind a tree. And honestly, like I prefer <laughs> the porta potty. I, yeah. This is the best, <laughs> the best answer to this question. <laughs> Alyssa Sutherland shits in the woods. That I love that. I love the fact that Odin just says, so what's the, well, what's the most Viking thing you've done? And you're just going to go, hang on, <laughs> go to the bushes. <laughs> Amy, you know it's healthier for you to be squatting. Uh, yes, that could be a whole separate podcast. Than like sitting on a toilet seat. Yeah, that's why I don't use toilets. I just, you know, I just refuse. <laughs> yeah. So. Mm-hmm. So uh, what are you working on now? What What's going on in the world of Alyssa as an actress? Um, I have a mini series coming out, I think, in the last quarter of this year, an Australian miniseries called New Gold Mountain. I am very excited about it. It's set in Gold Rush, Australia, told from a Chinese immigrant point of view. We are kind of rewriting history because 
um, the Chinese immigrants have been left out of the history books. And um, I, I think it will be a wonderful thing for Australians to see. I don't know yet if it will reach international streaming platforms. Um, time will tell on that, but um, I'm very proud of what it is. I got to see a sneak peek the other day and I'm, I'm really excited about that and what the series is standing for and, and the message that it is sending. Um, in regards to race relations, I, I think that's a pretty topical thing today. Um, so yeah, I, I always love it when my personal beliefs are going to align with a project. Um, so there's extra excitement with that one. And then I'm about to go film something that I can't talk about yet. And I'm so excited. Ooh. I'm so excited. I'm going to go to New Zealand in a few weeks. Um, and I, yeah, at, at some point I know I'm going to be able to make some kind of announcement. But right now. Can you give us a clue? Can we have a word or something? A kind of a leading. Is it modern like or is it? Is it what? Is it modern or is it, uh, do you know what? It's modern. You, okay. It is not a period piece. It's modern, um, but it's a part of a franchise. Mm. I'll give you that. Um, so it's another installment in a franchise. It's a film. Um, Just tell us after we stop record. Yeah, I'll tell you guys. <laughs> yeah, then I'll tell you. Listen, Alyssa, thank you so much for coming on Vicast. It's been so great catching up with you. Have you, got any, um, have you got any charities or any organizations you'd like to talk about before we, we leave you today? Yes, um, uh, a cause very near and dear to my heart. My, um, one of my very dear close friends had a baby uh, right at the end of 2020. And three weeks after she gave birth, she suffered a stroke. She is wonderful and fine and healthy and happy today. Um, thanks to very rapid actions from her husband, he saved her life. Um, but something that a lot of women don't know about, we are at an increased risk for stroke just for being women. And postpartum, um, our risk goes up especially if you've had conditions like hyperemesis, gestational diabetes, if you're 35 and older, um, lots more information and everyone should know the symptoms of a stroke because timing is everything. My best friend is alive and well today because her husband acted so quickly. So um, go to stroke.org, make sure you know the symptoms of what a stroke is. Um, please everyone, because it could save your life. Right. Awesome. To log on to stroke.org. Thank you so much, Alyssa, for coming on Vicast. It's been so great catching up with you again. And some brilliant stories there for the Viking fans out there. This is Vicast with Clive Standen and Amy Bailey. Hello, I am Alyssa Sutherland, and this is Vicast. It's a Viking thing. Follow the Vikings on Vicast Official. Shield Wall! Ah, oh, Alyssa, what a gal, what a gal. So Alyssa. fun, so fun. It's got that Aussie humor. It always just lights up my, my face and makes me smile. Do you know, I don't, I think the one thing that fans would mostly be surprised by is Alyssa is freaking funny. Like she has this dry, wicked sense of humor that because she's, she's such a good and serious actress and she plays such a kind of deep and controversial character on the show people don't have any idea what a total insane kook she is. And I mean that as a high compliment. That's the thing about Auslaug is a little like Rollo is like, like her or love her. Auslaug is such a complex character with many layers. And um, the story is so much better for her. And Ragnar's journey would be nothing without her. She's, she's, she's a great character to watch. She is. And she dealt with uh, a lot of things with so much grace, I think, because like she said, it was a real shock with the fan reaction when it first came out. She wasn't really expecting people to um, uh, react the way that they did, which is understandable. People get really attached to their characters, but uh, she just she's so cool. And I'm I'm so glad that she's doing well. And it was really good to talk to her, wasn't it? It was so good to see her face. Yeah. Really it just her. means that she's doing her job well as well. I mean, that's mm -hmm. the thing is like drama is built on conflict. 
know, we can't all be Lagatha the Shield Maiden. You know, they have to have that conflicting character 